This just make me want to get on and cap out on tombstones. I think I'm almost capped out on tombstones. I haven't been doing any of the 90s stuff though, because I've been just been leveling the other classes. So. Oh, and they said the starter guide series will be what is shown during the break, the one that got recently released on YouTube. <laughs> well, the new tombstone coming out. Yeah, so there's a healer one that's got kind of people a little miffed. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Online. I'm Mayra, a scholar and one of millions of players adventuring... I appreciate this. Let me just tell you out. In this series, I'll be introducing... I appreciate this. To help you get the most I know there's not going to be a lot of people that's going to listen to this to or attacks, watch these, but I appreciate this more. one. And, and I'll explain. If they show the healer one... I'll, I'll explain the why I've well. seen some of the gripes about the healer one. Let's recruit them, shall we? Go! <laughs> All right, thanks for the invite, Mayra. Hi there, Kaz. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Online. <sighs> yes! I keep hearing about it and I had to try it for myself. <sighs> You're the pro, though, so, you know, what, uh, what am I getting into? You've come to the right scholar. Let me show you. Oh. <sighs> Final Fantasy XIV Online is the critically acclaimed online RPG where you embark on the journey of a lifetime. It's very nice and well done. Oh, there are going to be people saying this is cringe, but hey, people don't want to read, so here are pictures. So I'm going to tell you right now, I, that's not the issue that they're having, actually. Um, but to be honest, people don't even watch these videos. They don't watch videos either. Like, I feel like... Like, this is actually a really great way to have an animated mentor program, like a mentorship thing. And, but, yeah, again, it's, it's the, you have to have that mindset. I love this. I love that she used rescue on his ass to bring him back. I wish mentors could do this to, like, sprouts. to make your adventure even better. And help me become the adventurer of my dreams? Yes, please. If only Sprouts had this kind of enthusiasm. Let's go. <laughs> and they don't. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, love those ears. Oh, a Makote, huh? You bet. Now to take my class. I love the look of the gladiator. It's just a shame I'll never learn how to be an archer. Well, that's the beauty of Final Fantasy XIV Online. Your character can actually play every class in the game. Classes are split into three roles. Tanks, who hold the enemy's attention and soak up their attacks. There are damage dealing, or DPS classes, who take down enemies as quickly as possible. And healers, who, well, heal the party. You choose your starting class now, but once you reach level 10, you can unlock and change to other classes whenever you like. Also, your character's gender, race, patron deity, or date of birth won't limit any major aspects of your gameplay. And you'll even have the option to change your appearance later in the game. So don't worry too much, and just create a character that you like. Oh, that is amazing. I'm gonna start as an archer. No, archer. Uh, no, lancer. Sounds great. Oh, can't wait to try the others later. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, no big deal. Got 12 XP. <laughs> you can earn much more experience while enjoying the story. Let me show you how it's done. If you want to succeed, learn to read the map. Do a read the map. Menu. Read the map. Read the map. Yeah. MSQs. These are the quests you follow to experience the main story. By completing them, you'll earn some fantastic rewards and level up I appreciate faster. this. You'll also have the option to follow loads of side quests. These won't impact your main story, but they will help you explore the world and earn gear, experience, and other rewards. Oh, I'd love to check out my first MSQ. Great. Then let's get you to the Adventurer's Guild. That's Mamodi. See the meteor icon above her head? That's how you know you should talk to her for your MSQ objective. 
which will be updated in your main scenario guide as you progress here on the upper left. See, this is like the mentor. This is like the videos of mentors. Other quest types. And you can always access your journal to keep track of the quests you have accepted and completed. Right. MSQ earned great XP. Got it. Max level, here I come! <coughs> the map. Oh, uh, follow the map. That thing is pretty useful. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Personally, y'all know me. I will link this mad boy every freaking time we see people asking questions about stuff. But, you know, again, that's people listening and paying attention and wanting to read. Hey, Kai. How are your main scenario quests coming along? Completed a few, gained a few levels, no big deal. Um, but I was wondering about that thing under my main scenario quest. Oh, under your MSQ? That's your class quest. When you join a class of guilds, you'll get special quests featuring unique storylines, which will help you earn some awesome abilities and gear. Aeosia has guilds for each class, and you can unlock other classes by visiting the guilds in each of the three starting cities after reaching level 10. If you want to become a master of different classes, you're welcome to join up and see what each has to offer. For now, let's take a look at your gladiator class quest. If you're not sure what to do, you can always reference your main scenario guide. Whenever you're able to undertake a new class quest, they will show up here under your next MSQ, so be sure to keep an eye out. Let's see what's next. Oh, right, the gladiator scales. Now these are my kind of fighters. Let me talk to the leader to see how to complete my class quest. See, again, I would love for Sprout to be this enthusiastic. And just like follow the bouncing ball. It looks like Mila wants to test you. Ready to slay some monsters? I was born ready. Okay, first let's review the objectives in your journal. All set? Then let's I go love with this. You did it! Now we can go back to Mila to complete your quest. Huh? Who's that? going on here oh that player is participating in a full active time event oh okay so what is that full active time events or fates are dynamic battles that appear around eorzea they can be boss battles escort missions or other events and help you earn some great rewards these aren't tied to the main scenario but are fun optional content that you'll encounter out in the open world you can gauge the fate level here the time left and the progress. Any nearby player can join a fate, and higher level players need to temporarily take their level to the fate to join. This fate is at a perfect level for you, though, so if you want to join, simply enter the fate radius on your map. Yep, that sounds like a sprout. <sighs> Let's do this. Ooh, better sync my level so I can help him out. contribution and earned a lot of experience pretty good for your first time you'll come across loads of fates as you progress through your msqs in the open world so keep a lookout for other exciting challenges oh another one let's go wait that was level 20 oh yikes i'll just go ahead and get a resurrection ready there we go <laughs> I love these. All of the novice. Yes. Uh, you still wearing that thing? Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, just taking a nap. Uh, let's check your inventory. Hey, 
first things first, let's get you organized. Just click an item, select sort, and voila, nice and tidy. Whoa, I appreciate and this. First, you've got a wayward halfling minion. Just select him, and you can have a chocobo chick of your very own to accompany you. Sweet. Oh, her name is Harold. How does that right, sound, Harold? right. Thank you. You seem like a good team. I would die for him. Well, let's bring up your character <laughs> menu and take a look at the gear in your armory chest. If you're not sure what to equip, click recommended. Gear. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. You know how many times we have to tell people to do this. Recommended gear. And oh, wow. Yeah, not ideal. Here, I've got a better idea. I don't see how you could beat this outfit, but uh, okay. Let's find better gear, and while we're at it, teach you how to win. Oh, I'm a level 15. I'm Honestly, I feel like the Hall of the Novice should be mandatory. I, it literally needs to be mandatory. Welcome to the Hall of the Novice. Here you can learn the ropes for your class and earn some awesome gear. You can find a Hall of the Novice NPC located in the Adventurer's Guild for your starting city. Just look for the green and gold sapling symbol above their head after you reach level 15. There are unique challenges and rewards in the Hall of the Novice for all three roles. Tank, DPS, and healer. So if you change classes later, don't forget to come back for some training. Thank you. Are you ready to give one a shot? Cue the music. I, I love that they say when you change your class, like when you go into a specific deep, like if you're a tank and you go DPS, go to the novice. Oh, I get it. Avoid that. There you go. Ready for a few more? Okay, let's do this. We'll also practice engaging multiple targets using a ranged attack and using combo attacks. This need to be mandatory. Bravo. Now for the final exercise. anything like the other not just remember what you've learned this is for you <laughs> i love it harold is so proud sweet this ring helps me gain xp faster nice work now let's check out your brand new gear <laughs> now you look more like a warrior of light yeah there's still a lot to learn and discover, and we've got a ways to go to get you there. Stop! I, uh, meant to do that. When I tell you I am cheesing right now, I am so cheesing right now. Like, I don't know how many times I have encountered this so much as a mentor. It's discouraging because you have mentors who are sprouts who don't do this. Like, literally, it's like you have Sprout mentors who don't understand any of this kind of stuff. And these kind of things, yeah. I, oh my God, this gives me so much hope. This really does. Like, as a mentor myself, I try to teach the basics. And I know, like, a lot of times I tell people, go over to the Hall of the Novice. Do those things. If you've never tanked, go over to the Hall of the Novice and go do the tanking one. As a DPS, you should go over there. Like, I feel like whenever you're, like, whenever, like, not like they said, when you start off as, like, a tank and you want to be a DPS, go back and revisit the Hall of the Novice. You know, if you're never healed before and this is the first time picking up a healer, go back over to the Hall of the Novice and pick up healing and go through those. It's, like, basic one-on-one -on -one stuff. But, like, a lot of people, especially newer players, come in here, they just want to, ah, in game and they never go and look at any of this stuff and it's so hard it's like super super hard to try to like encourage that and when you especially when you got like sprout mentors and don't even get me started with that <laughs> but you have sprout mentors that will sit around there and literally not know anything but they just became crafting mentors just so they can stay inside a novice network and I'm like it's not meant for that like, you literally are getting the tools for you to transition out and to go be a good warrior of light. Or at least a, you know, a, a good player. You ain't got to be, like, great. You ain't got to be, like, I need to make purple parses and all this stuff. We just want you to be able to survive and enjoy your time doing so. 